We're coming to you today from a city steeped in football tradition, the great city of Milan. And when it comes to tradition, it doesn't get much better than Milan versus Inter. Stay with us, you won't miss a minute of action right here on EA TV. All roads today lead to the San Siro here in Milan. It's the Derby della Madonnina, Milan against Inter. My name is Derek Ray, and joining me for commentary, as always on these special occasions, is Stuart Robson. Stuart, what are you looking forward to seeing in this one? Well, Derek, I have to say, this is always a game I look forward to, particularly the styles of play. Milan against Inter, this is a wonderful arena. Let's hope it's an entertaining game as well. The Inter starting lineup. Samir Handanovic gets the nod in goal. Alessandro Bastoni plays with Milan Skriniar in central defence. Marcelo Brozovic plays alongside Nicolo Barella in the centre of midfield. And leading the attack today, Lautaro Martinez plays alongside Romelu Lukaku. This is the Milan starting 11. The goalkeeper is Ciprian Tatarushanu. Sandro Tonali plays alongside Ismael Benasser in central midfield. And the starting role in attack is handed to Olivier Giroud. And the match is underway. Gozens Lukaku well the referee has reached for his pocket early on here so we have an early booking here to report Stuart yeah I think the referee's absolutely right he's just making it clear to all the players out there he's not going to take any messing about here And it's there for him. Oh, it's in! The opening goal of the derby. And listen to what it means. Well, as you can see, that's a great bit of skill. He times this so sweetly. What a good goal that is. The ball is moving once more. How important will that opening goal prove to be? Brahim. And Milan moving the ball with purpose. Could cross it in here. Oh, the referee points to the spot. Penalty.
And now to level the game. A goal! Accurate from the spot! Well, here it is again, and just watch the keeper. He stands still, hoping it's hit down the middle. Unfortunately for him, he's got it wrong. Back underway, level pegging, one goal apiece in this game. He has teammates around him. Terrific block. Martinez. The supporters want to see him have a go. And hunting for his second goal tonight, however. Well, you're absolutely right. He's been on great form today. That was another good effort. And over comes the corner. Aware of the threat, solving the problem. Chalanoru. Still looking to get the shot off. Olivier Giroud. And teammates to play it to. And he cuts inside. And the penalty has been given here. to give them the lead here. A goal! Calmly taken, spot kick! Well, as you can see, the keeper makes no effort in the end. He was hoping it would be struck down the middle, but it's an easy finish, really. So underway again here, Cannon to come up with the right answer. Throw in for Milan. Benassa. Brahim. Leal. And back with Giroud. Happy to take on the shot. Well, he clearly wants to complete his hat-trick, Stuart. Well, he's been fantastic up to now. You'd think it's going to come if he gets another opportunity. Chalanolu, plenty of support here. Lukaku waiting, and the problem not completely solved. And play halted, free kick given. Benassa. And that pass could be troublesome. But he knew he had to get to the ball, and he did. So at the moment, as we approach half time, it's not quite going to plan for Inter in terms of the scoreline. Stuart, your assessment. 
Well, it's been a good game, but they've been second best in a couple of key areas. That needs to change in the second half, otherwise it's going to be a disappointing result for them. Playing it in. Well, he couldn't quite keep the header down. Goal kick. Brahim. Milan moving the ball forward. What can they do from here? Diaz. Could be. Oh, the crossbar is still reverberating. Well, nothing comes of it. Oh, great play. But a good piece of tidying up. Oh, surely. Oh, he's found the net. And that increases the advantage to two. Just what they wanted and just what they deserve. Well, here it is again. He goes past his marker so easily with just a drop of the shoulder and the finish is just as good. That's an excellent goal. And they will make the change now. Underway again with the score at 3 1. Junior Messias. The pass could do damage. He's in behind the defence here. And danger still. And the first half is in the history books here at the Meazza. Olivier Giroud, the sort of striker who can contribute in so many different ways, and we're seeing just that, Stuart. Well, he's looked unstoppable today. Quick, clever, skillful, and he's taken his goals really well. He's been wonderful to watch. And away they go again. Breathtaking stuff from Milan in the first 45. What will the second half bring us? Oh, that's a really good authoritative tackle. Throw in here. Getting in there to take it away. And a free kick awarded by the referee. And deep into the penalty area. Wanted to keep it, but couldn't. Can they hit on the break? There's a slide draw pass. And it's in! This game very much back on as a contest. Play and just look how quickly they break forward once they win the ball back. And Lukaku does the rest. He hits through the back of the ball with such power, it's a great finish. And the action underway once again. This is far from being in the bag. Inter's goal making sure of that. Messias just looking for the right moment for that final pass and still they wait for the chance 
Well, he would have been disappointed had he spilled that one. And this is Brozovic. Right towards the near post. Defensive excellence there. Benassa. Well, this could pose problems for the defenders. Well, they couldn't quite muster a real threat. Counter-attacking very much an option. This looks threatening. He's blocked it! Here it is now, a substitution. Well, it's been a while, but these fans are now coming to life. Can they equalise here? And now the delivery. Well, not the best clearance. Chalhanolu. He got in the way of that cross. And the penalty has been given here. Can they make it three apiece? The keeper going in the right direction and saving it. And they have elected to go to the bench at this stage of the game. He's driven in the corner. Well, the danger is still there. Chalhanolu. A wonderful intervention. Olivier Giroud. Can they take advantage? And there it is, a chance. Well, the keeper performing brilliantly. Well, that's just incredible. He reacted so quickly there. Short corner taken. Leal. Just made sure nothing came of that. Benasser. Just can't get it past them. And the referee's verdict is penalty kick. to extend the lead here and he puts it away confidently well here it is again and just watch the keeper he stands still hoping it's hit down the middle unfortunately for him he's got it wrong So the current scoreline, 4-2. Rebic. Poor pass. Just ten minutes remaining here. Tommaso Bobega. And he's through here. And mistimed the run, sadly. That's offside. Well, they've decided to make a change. Well, 
Not in the final phase of this game. And we know, Stuart, Inter can play an awful lot better than this. Well, they've been second best, that's for sure. And the main problem has been in midfield, where they've been overrun at times. They just haven't been... Hang on a minute, Stuart. Opportunity unfolding. And it's in! They've eaten it to their advantage. And this is not over. Not yet, anyway. Here's the replay. Watch how he goes past his man with such ease. And it's just a change of pace. And there's certainly no doubt about the finish. He really hits it with power and accuracy. Nothing the keeper can do about that. Well, how about this? 4-3. Now Milan could be on to something. Timely intervention. Well, the action is going to continue for a while yet. We will have four minutes of stoppage time. Time and the scoreline against Inter, but they're not out of this. A oh, terrific pass. And it's come off the keeper. Oh, chance taken. There is opportunism for you. But a disappointed goalkeeper. Well, here it is again, and I feel a bit sorry for the goalkeeper. He makes a good save to start with, but where are his defenders following in? Instead, it's the attacker who's alert. He gets to the ball first, and it's a good finish. And the referee blows his whistle, and it brings an end to this contest. And the story here, defeats for Inter. You're absolutely right, Derek. They really struggle to get to grips with the game. They always seem second to the ball, and then just a few mistakes at the back, and it's cost them. Poor performance all round. But it just seems in this game, he's been a step ahead of his opponents in every way, Stuart. Well, he looked a top-class player today. Every time he touched the ball, he was a threat, and he worked so hard for the team as well. What a good display that was.